up sugar for honey. Sounds like a good healthy choice, but is honey really the better option? Let's get right to our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. All right, doctor, which of those two options is better for us? Hi, Joanne, you know I love honey, so I want to talk about this a little bit more. So both honey and sugar, pros and cons. Both of them have carbohydrates containing glucose and fructose with sugar having more than honey. However, sugar has a longer shelf life, is low in cost, and many of us really enjoy its taste, but sugar is much more processed than honey. So since honey is produced by honeybees, it contains pollen and trace minerals like magnesium and potassium. But honey can also raise your blood glucose levels similar to sugar, although it's not as high on the glycemic index, which is how quickly the sugar can go up uh, in, in your body. Dr. Nandy, is one lower in calories than the other? That's a great question. So sugar is lower in calories than honey, but since honey is sweeter, you can use less. Now overindulging in either of these sweeteners can lead to extra weight and increase your risk of type 2 diabetes and heart disease. High sugar intake in also be linked to tooth cavities, change in gut bacteria and problems with liver function that can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can be serious as well as obesity. I love honey on cereal. A little bit, yeah. it does sweeten it up. All right, what are your prescriptions? I'd keep doing that, uh, Joanne. So whether you choose honey or sugar, it's important to use in moderation as everything else we talk about. If using honey, choose dark raw honey. It has more nutrients and importantly, antioxidants and enzymes. Also, please don't give honey to babies under 12 months of uh, 20 months old. Honey contains bacterial spores that can cause a rare but potentially life-threatening disease called infant botulism. Also, when using sugar or honey, use a half teaspoon in drinks and cereals instead of a full teaspoon. Your taste buds will adjust over time uh, and your waistline will thank you. Mm -hmm. Lastly, try adding sweet spices like ginger or cinnamon or extracts like almond or vanilla to smoothies and baked goods. They'll cut down the sugar without really compromising any taste. Yum, yum. Other health benefits of using honey, are there any out there? Absolutely, Joanne. So honey may help with wound healing and burns when applied topically in a gel form or as a salve. It's also been found to help with a condition in the scalp called seborrheic dermatitis. It may also relieve coughing and provide allergy relief. All the studies have not shown consistent results. And you know they also have antioxidants. So keep using that honey on your, on your cereal. Just use the honey, but keep it away from the babies, like yeah, you said. Right, and, and in moderate amounts. All right. Thanks so much, Dr. Nandy. Dave.